Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another series of five text animations. Today I'm going to show you how to make this five text effects in DaVinci Resolve. So let's do it guys. Here I've got all my five text animations and I'm going into them individually. So let's go to Fusion on the first animation. And guys, I'll be honest with you, I can't remember exactly how I've done every text effects. So I'm just going to keep it here and look at them when I'm showing you how to create. Okay, so let's grab the text node. Let's put the text in here and I'm going to put in the viewer, change fonts to Montserrat and that will be extra bold italic and let's change size to, I don't know, something like that. That's going to be 0 0.13. And this text effect is just opacity. So let's go to text area, uh, choose follower, go there and on frame number zero and make sure delay is on one between each character, delay type, go to shading and on frame, frame number zero, animate opacity, go to zero and now go to frame number 10 and change opacity to one. And you've got just opacity effect, which is which is nice for me, very basic, but can be effective. And we can go to spline editor, it can be smoothed. I'm going to the next one. So let's copy this note. I'm going to next effect. I'm going to paste this note. And what I want to do is just delete this follower from here. Here in this template, you've got just opacity with some blur on every letter, okay? So let's go to text. So we don't have to change the font and the size and check, go into text and choose follower, go to modifier. Okay, let's change delay to two. Let's go to shading and on frame number 10, opacity will be one when we go to frame number zero. So now we can see this template. So I'm gonna grab it text one into viewer. Okay, so on frame number 10, opacity was value one. Let's go to number z uh, frame number zero and let's put down opacity, okay? So now we've got just opacity and we go into follower number one. I'm gonna name it to opacity. I can't because it's named already in template. So I'm gonna name it to opacity zero one. And when we are here in opacity zero one, I'm going to text and the right mouse button and I'm going to choose follower again. And I'm gonna name this follower to opacity softness. And here we're gonna change delay to two. We go into shading and on frame number 10, animate softness here, go to frame number zero and change softness to softness X to 10 and softness Y to 10. All right. And we're going to smooth out as it was in the last one. Okay, so we're going to copy this text so we don't have to change the font and we're going to the next effect. Paste it here. And that's gonna be, ladies and gentlemen, that will be Okay, outline is changing here, as you can see. Okay, okay, so we need to delete previous modifiers. Okay, and now let's uh, let's move this text one to viewer that we can see what we're doing here, and we're gonna activate follower modifier. Go there, change the delay to number two. The value to number two, go to shading and on frame eight, animate opacity and animate appearance and stay with this icon first one. And now go to frame number zero, put down opacity to zero and appearance to text outline. And for now we've got something like this and we're going to spline editor and let's smooth it out very easily. Everything is selected and now just hit F and leave it like that. I want to rename this a modifier to outline zero one and I'm going to text tab and I'm going to activate another uh, follower. I'm going to rename this follower to opacity outline zero one. I need to put zero one because in the template is the same name opacity outline. This name is already there. Timing tab, we're going to delay and change value to two. Now we're going to shading and frame number zero, animate opacity. 
and put it down, go to frame number two, change to value 1.0. And it looks like that. And we need to just move out opacity as we did in the first modifier in this text. We need to uncheck appearance and opacity one. And we need to leave it here, select these two points and just hit F and that will follow along. Okay, cool. Okay, next one, copy this. And that's gonna be complicated, but very effective in my opinion. Okay, so we need to delete these modifiers which we've done already. Okay, so activate follower. Go to modifier, change the delay to one, go to shading and select this text effect, this text node and hit two. Make sure you've got this in the viewer. So on frame number 10, animate opacity, go to frame number zero, go with opacity to zero. Okay, now we've got now we've got just opacity and go to select this text, go to modifier, and I, I actually want to rename this modifier to opacity01, and I'm going to go to text, and I'm going to activate another modifier, another follower, and I'm going to change name to follower shake, and I want to change delay to one, I'm going to shading, I'm going to change appearance to text outline, and I'm going to click right mouse button here, and I'm going to modify with shake and when you got shake go to frame number 10 take minimum to value number one animate here go five frame forward that will be frame number 15 go minimum to zero animate maximum go to frame number 30 and go maximum to value zero. And we need to change smoothness to 0 0.001. Go to follower shake, timing, and change order to completely random. And now look at that. We got it. Okay, next one. We're in the fifth text effect. I'm going to delete these modifiers. Okay, put this to viewer and go to frame number. Go to frame number zero, activate follower modifier, go to modifier, timing will be one, go to shading tab and animate opacity to zero, go to frame number 10 and change opacity to one. I'm gonna rename this follower, that's gonna be just opacity, in my case zero one, and go to this opacity to text tab and activate and activate another follower i'm gonna rename it to coloring 01 in my case and i'm gonna change timing to one i'm going to shading and on frame number 10 i'm gonna animate color and on frame number 13 i'm gonna change color to in my case i like this color and you can smooth it out if you like i didn't but i can do it now we'll see how it looks like just let's just hit f and that's it and see how it looks like. Okay, fine. You can actually, I don't know if you want to delay that, you can change a uh, color that can be changed in frame 17, 18, 20, whatever you like. But in my case, I can see it looks good. My suggestion after this five text effect, my suggestion is, as you notice, when I added every modifier, they've got they've got the same timing delay so this let's say look at this if opacity has got value one zero coloring has got in timing delay is 1.0 because let's say if you do something in your project and text will be longer it can have two lines and probably you will have to change delay to bigger value and you don't want to go to coloring individually and go to opacity and change it so you can just link them up just put expression to delay in opacity 01, go to coloring and connect it to this delay. And then when you change it, they will go along. Okay, that's going to be in coloring. Okay, that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.